What's up, everybody? I tore that chicken up, by the way. Um, <laughs> in the middle of Bible study, um, I tore that chicken up. And speaking of Bible study, last week we started reading, like I was saying, I think before, chapter, or like, was it Genesis chapter 50, verses 15 through 21? Um, the bishop is going to be breaking it up in four parts, and I think today was part two. Where he read from like oops, half of the scripture. Still the same book of the Bible. Uh, Genesis chapter 50 verses 50, 15 through 21. I just want to say. Um, we talked about last week flipping it on people. In other words. If you know there's somebody out there who has done you wrong. Or is doing you wrong. No matter how much it hurt. Do not repay evil with evil. And that's something that I have to learn too. That vengeance is the Lord's. He shall repay. And I have to say that because like sometimes we, we be wanting to give our enemies exactly what they give them. Like for instance, if somebody came in my past, like from my past and trying to be all like nice. It's, I, I mean, I have one or two things to do. I can either treat them the way they treated me so they can know how I feel. Because I had that for a long time, man. <laughs> Several exes came to me, and guess what? I treated it very nicely. Not only does it show growth, it shows maturity, and it shows that I'm not going to give you the it. Look at all the stuff that I've been through since you dumped me or whatever the case. Look at all the things that I have been through. You think I'm going to waste all that and jeopardize all that? All that growth and maturity I had to learn just to treat you how you treated me? I'm going to lose everything I just learned. Like, forget about what God has said, because I just want him to feel the way I, he made me feel. It's flip it on him. Be nice. And he was talking about how when Joseph's brothers in the Bible, Genesis chapter 50, verses 15 through 21, in the Bible, you, Joseph was put in a pit by his brothers. I'm sure they thought he was dead. He ended up going to Potiphar's house, being in prison because Potiphar's wife lied and said, hey, he tried to sleep with me. Here, see, look, this is his cape right here as proof. Potiphar put him in a prison and then he ended up being in the palace. I think he was the second command to, to Pharaoh in Egypt. But let me tell y'all something, though. When he met up with his brothers, when his brothers came to him, Joseph could have treated his brothers the way they treated him when they put him in, when they left his son for dead. No, when they left him for dead by putting him in that pit. He could have gave him everything, but he just wept loudly. And he didn't. He just said, I'm not the one you need to go to. God is the one you need to go to. But welcome, my sweet brothers, you know. And it's a part of killing them with kindness too, even though it was, it was hard for me for a long time to do that because I just did not want to show them any kind of mercy or niceness or anything because, mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. I decided I've been through too much. I've lost a lot. And I'm just concentrating on this process. God is with me during this process. And for me to lose all that he has taught me, that he's matured me from, that I've gotten growth from, just to treat you the way you treated me? Why, why Why would I want to be bitter? I'm trying to move forward. I'm not, I'm not, no. It's time out for all this whole, well, I'm going to just do this to him like he did this to me. I'm, hmm. What good, I mean, honestly, if you really think about it, what, what, what good is it going to do? It's only going to make you look crazy. So, I had to flip it on him. Like when Mr. came back, I flipped it on him. I was nice. I didn't say, well, you know, I'm ignoring you. I'm going to ignore him. Yes, the power. I got the power. <laughs> the ball's in my court. Yeah, I got the upper hand. So I'm going to treat him. But no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nope. No. I have to remind myself every day, absolutely not. I got too much going on. Too much has happened. I've gotten matured. Yes, I cried about it. I got mad about it. I cussed about it. But, I mean, ugh. 
why would I want to jeopardize all of that? Ruin my process and God's process of doing a work in my life so I can know my purpose at the end of this process just to go back. So, you got to flip it on them. If somebody's on your job, even in your family, your best friend, your significant other has been mean to you and this and that, please, as hard as it is, because it is easier said than done, flip it on them and be nice. Because the enemy's plan for your life, God is going to use for your good. And that was the word on the Bible study tonight. The enemy's plan to do you wrong, or the plan, or the plans that they had to do you wrong, are, are how, how did he put this? The plan they made to do you wrong, even if that plan succeeded, God is going to use that for your good. So please don't mess up what God is trying to do. And that's something I have to um, I have to follow too. Like I'm not trying to ruin this process. I want to know what my purpose is. And I can't expect God to help me if I'm in his way. So, if there's somebody out there that wants to do me wrong, you're going to have to take it up with the Father because um, I'm just going to sit back, keep continuing to do what I got to do. And y'all going to have to take it up with the Father because I'm not, mm -mm. take it up with God because, you know, vengeance is his, not mine. And I have to, I'm still learning that every single day because as much as I want to roll my eyes at people, for what? Just that little bit, I can ruin the process. God is taking me places. God is taking us places. And we don't want to get in his way and ruin it by what? Still being bitter or trying to have a vengeful attitude about somebody that did you wrong years ago. And here they come out of nowhere. And sometimes they would act like they didn't do nothing to you. But guess what? You have to act like that too. Hey! Oh my, it's been 10, 10, 10 years, right? Wow. Oh, you look great. Why? And then they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah I, I just, I cheated on her. I emasculated him. I was disrespectful to his mama. Oh, and she being nice to me? Yep, flip that thing. Don't let them see you sweat. Do not give people what they're giving you. And please don't give them what you know and what you're capable of giving them. I have to learn that as well. So I'm not on here trying to preach to y'all and tell y'all something. I just wanted to share what the word was on tonight. That Bible study was everything. Flip it on them was last week's Bible study. And today's Bible study, God is taking us somewhere, moving forward. The whole series that he's doing is a four-part series. Um, and I think he's going to be preaching from Genesis chapter 50 verses 15 through 21 hey if anybody got a facebook out there please follow michael lloyd he's a bishop and every wednesday at four if you're in california if you're in um just i know for sure like since i'm in california every wednesday at four because that's usually when he's on i think he's in a whole other state i don't know what the state it is and what time but i know out here in california it's at four o'clock I think it's Southern California. Every Wednesday at four o'clock is um. Let me see what's his name. Like Michael Lloyd, Bishop Michael Lloyd. I have to say that because I need you guys to get some of this word. I want to start changing the things that I post about too. I'm still gonna do my silly videos and all that, and I'm still gonna do hauls and stuff. But every now and then, it is good to kind of change it up and start talking about God and start talking about things that people are always trying to hide. God is not just a concept to me; He's not a, oh a, a imaginary thing. To me, He's everything. He's omnipresent, omnipotent, all these other good things, and He shows it when He wakes us up every morning before your alarm comes on. For me, you know, and I have to keep saying for me because there are some people out there. I don't want to push this on. I don't want to force God or anybody. I just want to let you know. Same thing with people that may be doing that out there. You can lead a horse to water. Hey, you did your job. If the horse chooses not to drink, you did your job by letting them know. 
if you get thirsty, the water's right here. I'm just, I'm just, cause you know, you salivating and everything. So you, you water right here. I mean, you foam at the, the water's right here, horse. Drink. And if you choose not to, hey, the horse can never say, I know where the water was, nobody told me. But just rest easy that you know you did your job. And that's all I wanted to say, you guys. Please move forward. Flip it on your enemies. Don't treat them like you know they deserve to be treated. But you know what? Don't do it because vengeance is the Lord's. And whatever plan the enemy has trying to is plotting against you or has plotted against you, whether it succeeded or not, God is going to use that for your good. So if it's a position that your husband or your wife or whoever in your family has been waiting for and people at your job keep playing around with them, trying to pretend like, oh, this position is this position is empty and they're just playing around. And it's like, you know, you're waiting for that position because it's what you worked it for. Is you got seniority or not or whatever the case is, but you apply for this job because you got what it takes, all the credentials, you, you qualify for it. And there's people, higher ups, that keep playing around. Knowing that your husband or your wife or your daughter or your son or whoever, your best friend is waiting on this job. And there's, there's people in corporate that's playing around, going having you going through hoops. And then they end up giving a job to Cindy or Byron in your face. God is, and they purposely do it. God is going to use that for your good. And sometimes you may end up being their manager. They're going to have to answer to you. But first, they have to answer to God for all the evil plotting they did against you. And you just sit and just like keep doing your thing. Keep praising the Lord. Whatever you got to do, keep doing your job or whatever. And it's going to work out. You're going to run into the, the very thing that God has planned for you. Even if there's bullies picking on your children, God has a plan. Those kids may end up being nice to whoever they're bullying. It could be your child they're bullying. And those kids will end up being, I'm sorry, I'm, I was messing with you. Can you, but you just never know how God is going to turn it around. But just don't repay evil for evil. And I'm learning the same thing. God is going to be with us every step of the way. We got to keep him there, though. That's the thing, because I be wanting to do my own thing. I be like, oh. But you know what? I thank God. So, I just wanted to share that word with you guys because moving forward, forgiveness, let it go. That's the name of the whole series. Forgiveness, colon, let it go. Leave it alone. It ain't for you to try to fix, try to pay back. Try to leave it up and alone. Leave it alone. You don't want to mess up because you're in the process right now to go towards your purpose. And you don't want to take matters into your own hands and sock somebody because 10 years ago they socked you. And you never got a chance to get your lick back. I'm not interested in getting no lick back. No. Forget a lick back. No. <laughs> You can you you got that you got it you got it all right y'all I'm about to go we're moving forward okay we're gonna flip it on them because these enemies think that we're gonna treat them the way they have treated us but no 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 we just ain't got the time so again if you guys have a Facebook Please, um, his name is um, Bishop Michael Lloyd, and I need y'all to get some of this word seriously. You know what God has been telling you and what he has been working on in your life. I do not want to mess up his plan for your life. I do not want to say, oh, y'all should listen to this person, this person. I just want to share what our Bible studies has been like. And it's like, whoo. The, 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 what do you call it? The head on the nail has been getting hit every single time. Forgiveness and letting it go. Even if you apologize to somebody and they don't, let it go. Because some people just ain't think they did nothing wrong. Let it go. 
You did your part. You freed yourself. And I said this last week. I apologized to somebody last week. And they didn't apologize to me. I feel like they should have. But guess what? I told myself before I apologize, don't expect one back. But I was still kind of hurt that they they should they said this thing. Why didn't they apologize? Some people don't think they're wrong. But guess what? Let it go. Forgive them. Let it go. And it's not to be the bigger person. It's for your freedom and your peace. And to be forgiven by the Father in heaven. So forgive them and let it go. All right? I thought I'd share that. I'm about to get ready for bed in a few minutes because um, I got to get up early. And like I always say in my videos... Y'all, pray for me. I'm definitely going to pray for y'all. And we're going to pray for each other. We moving forward. Flipping on them.